Question one there, convert 80 micrograms to uh, two milligrams, right? So milligrams ml, ml, and uh, we're changing them or no, we're, well, there's milligrams and there's micrograms, right? Now, if we want to go from ll from L, from milligrams to micrograms, we'd have to multiply by a thousand. But in this case, we're going from micrograms, we're changing micrograms into milligrams, we're going this way. So it's the opposite of multiplying, we're dividing by a thousand, right? So it's going to be 80 divided by a thousand. And how are we going to do that? Well, you could write, uh, first of all, we can write it like this, 80, o 80 over a thousand. And we cancel there, so now we have 8 over 100. And I can, we can cancel again, uh, 2 into 8 goes 4 times, 2 into 100 goes 50 times. We can do the same again, 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 50 goes 25 times. So now we're trying to divide 25 into 2. It's a little bit awkward, it sounds a bit awkward, doesn't it? But it's not too bad. Add on a few zeros there, and uh, we're going to divide. Oh, I got it wrong. One second now. We're dividing 2.000 by 25. So 25 into 2 doesn't go. Bring down the decimal point. 25 into 20 doesn't go. Now, 25 into 200. How many times does 25 go into 200? Right? Uh, well, it goes into 100 four times. So it goes into 200 eight times evenly, and we're done. So 80 micrograms equals 0 0.08 milligrams. Of course, that should have been milligrams up there instead of liters, right? Milligrams. So I hope that makes a bit of sense. Now, question two, we're converting grams to milligrams. So you might remember, oops, the daisy, what happened there? Grams and milligrams, right? A bit heavy there, but anyway. We're going from grams to milligrams. So we're going to be multiplying by a thousand, right? So 0 0.9 multiplied by a thousand. Um, we just hop this decimal point three places. So we can put down our zero and our nine, right? And add on a few zeros. Now our decimal point starts here, but it's not going to finish there. We're going to hop it one, two, three, and that's equal to nine hundred milligrams. Point nine grams is equal to nine hundred milligrams. Now we're converting 75 ml to litres. Now you might remember from our code in the notes, if you like, our, our, our tool or our, our rule, litres to millilitres, uh, we multiply by a thousand going that way. Well, in this case, we're converting millilitres into litres, so we'll be dividing by a thousand to convert uh, millilitres to litres. So it's going to be 75 divided by a thousand. It's easier to write it like that because when it comes to cancelling, you know, uh, you can put five will divide into both of these, you know. Uh, so five into seven goes once and two over. Five into 25 goes five times. Five into one doesn't go. Five into 10 goes twice evenly. Five into zero doesn't go. Five into zero doesn't go. So this sum here, is going to be the same as the we get the same answer if we do it 15 by 200 and again we can cancel by 5 5 into 15 goes three times and 5 into 2 doesn't go 5 into 20 goes four times 5 into 0 doesn't go so we have 3 over 40 so we need to divide uh, 3 by 40 sounds a bit weird but uh, we're just going to use a decimal point and it'll be like dividing by 300 or 3000 we're going to divide by 40 now, before I do this, a wee trick here. We can divide above and below by 10. And we'll end up with 4 below and 0.3 above, 0 0.3. Do you see that? That makes life a lot easier. Because when we come down here, 
and just rub this out here now all we do then it makes life a bit easier so we trick so we're dividing 0 0.3000 by 4 4 into 0 doesn't go bring down the decimal point 4 into 3 doesn't go put in a 0 4 into 30 goes 7 times and 2 over 4 into 20 goes 5 times evenly job done so 75 milliliters equals 0 0.075 liters does that make sense it does it makes sense to me anyway you know because uh, it was 750 mils you'd have almost a liter and that'd be 0.75 but this is 0 0.075 now we're converting nanograms to micrograms and we haven't really seen micro or nanograms micrograms is the smallest we've seen nanograms are even smaller uh nanogram i don't know the symbol maybe what what way would you write it well we can just write it as nanograms right a nanogram uh you'd be to you'd be to go this way from large to small we'll be multiplying by a thousand again it's the same type of step and to go back this way we be dividing by a thousand right so there's a thousand nanograms in each microgram nanogram is absolutely tiny so we're converting five thousand nanograms to micrograms so we're going we're going we're going oh where are we going we're converting nanograms to micrograms we're going this way we're heading from right to left so we're going to be dividing okay Let's see if I can get this blue back here. So we're going to take our five thousand and we're going to divide it by a thousand. Once we've this set up, it's easy peasy. Divide by ten, these all cancel off here, and we're left with five. Five what? Five micrograms is our answer. Five thousand nanograms is the same as five micrograms. Question five: Convert one point two kilos to grams. Now if you look up in your notes you'll see kilograms like this and then we have grams here right kilo means a thousand kilometers is a thousand meters so to go from kilograms to grams we'll be multiplying by a thousand and what are we doing here yeah we are going from kilogram to grams so we'll just multiply it'll just be 1.2 multiplied by a thousand now the handiest way to do that is to line them up like this 1.2 with a thousand downstairs here and uh, you can go through the motions like you can just put down the three zeros or you can go zero times this you'd have a row of zeros a row of zeros a row of zeros three rows of zeros and then a one but really we just put down three zeros and we multiply one by two multiply one by one and now we think about our decimal point and it goes in there's only one place of decimals in the calculation right that's it there one step in there there's no decimal place here it's not going in at all from the right so we have a total of one so we step in one here into here put the decimal point there so our answer is going to be uh, 1200 grams now we're converting a 15,250 milligrams to grams now again we had grams on this side and milligrams was the key we were using in the notes uh, so if we're going from large to small we would have we would be multiplying by a thousand but in this case we're converting from milligrams to grams so it's the opposite we're going to be dividing by a thousand right so we're going to have 15250 over a thousand now all we need is one on the bottom if we have a fraction like four over one equals four so if we can divide if we divide the bottom by a thousand you just bang in the decimal point one two three and you get one there and you must do the same on top one two three right so we end up with 15.25 over one which equals 15.25 grams that's about the handiest way to do that question seven a suspension contains carbamazepine 15 milligrams in three mils or per three mils so if we had a three mil bottle 
Here's a three mil bottle. It's a three mil bottle that contains 15 milligrams of this powder, whatever it is, carbamazepine, right? That that amount of 15 grams of that stuff is floating around in here. And we we're asked how many would be in a 15 milligram bottle, 15 milliliter bottle. Well, that's a three mil bottle. Now, if you had a 15 mil bottle, it would be five times bigger. Five times bigger. It'd be like having five of those three mil bottles. Imagine, we'd have five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Each one would be three mils. And in each one would be 15 milligrams. There'd be 15 milligrams floating around in each one. So if we add those bottles together, that's the same as having a 15 mil bottle. Right? So it'll be five times three mil and five times 15 milligrams because it'll be 15 milligrams, 15 milligrams in each bottle. That should be milligrams there. One, two, three, four, five. Instead of adding five together, we can just multiply 15 by five. Down to five, carry the two. Five ones is five, and two is seven. So how many milligrams will be in a 15 ml bottle? 75 milligrams. John's fluid balance chart for 24 hours shows inputs and outputs, intakes and outputs, right? He gets IV fluid, 1095 mils and oral fluid 640 mils. His output then is urine, vomit and wound drainage in mils there as well. All the units are the same. That's the first thing to check, right? Unit check. All the units are the same, so we're happy enough with the units. Uh, total input. The total input then is going to be 1095 plus 640. 9 and 4 is 13, carry the 1, 1 and 6 is 7, we get 1735 for total inputs. And the units then, don't forget the units, is mils, 17, 1735 mil for inputs. The outputs, we're just going to add them. So we have 440, just line them up nicely, 90 and 55. 0, 0 and 5 is 5, 4 and 9 is 13 and 5 is 18, put down to 8 and carry the 1, 5 4s is 20 and 1 is 21. So we get 2185 mil outputs. That's it, inputs and outputs. Now you could take one from the other and you'd have an overall, uh, there'd be overall he'd be outputting stuff, which probably wouldn't be good, I don't know, but anyway. That's not a bit clear there, but that's, to clear that up, that's 17.35 mil inputs.